Assalamu alaikum welcome to Nasir Sof In this video we will talk about to find the minimum spanning tree with prems method First look on the graph We have a graph that is represented by the G and it is the combination of vertices and edges For example this is the graph and the vertices are 1 2 Three and four, and the edges of this graph are one to two, two to four, three to four, one to three. What is spanning tree? A spanning tree is a subset of a graph which has all vertices covered with minimum possible number of edges. It means that if we want to create the spanning tree of this graph then the spanning tree will have all these vertices that is 1 3 2 and 4 four vertices but the edges will be one less than the vertices the number of vertices denoted with the n and in this graph the number of vertices are 4 then the spanning tree edges will be that is n minus 1 Four minus one, that is three. It means that the spanning tree of this graph have the edges of three, and the number of vertices will be four. And the spanning tree of this graph may be more than one. So, what is minimum spanning tree? A minimum spanning tree is a tree that has minimum weights. then all other spanning trees of the same graph for example if i create the spanning tree of this graph in one way okay the spanning tree will be all possible vertices that is 4 so spanning tree vertices should be 4 1 2 3 and i connect this these two one and the edges will be 3 one less than the number of vertices 2 or 3 or if i not connect this one i connect this one all this is also okay the spanning tree does not have cycle and the spanning tree cannot be disconnected if i uh, separate this node here and not connect this one to the whole other three one then this is not a spanning tree so the property of the spanning tree is spanning tree does not have cycle and spanning tree cannot be disconnected so while creating the spanning tree of a graph these points should be in our mind through this example using prims method we construct a minimum spanning tree so to construct a spanning tree using prims algorithm so first we choose an arbitrary node that is vertex choose arbitrary vertex for example in this example i choose the arbitrary vertex that is a so starting from the a here we choose first an arbitrary vertex that is A. So now the second step is we keep adding on this arbitrary vertex the more edges that connect this arbitrary edge uh, uh, vertex to other vertex. So then out of all vertices that are connected with that arbitrary vertex, we choose the minimum weighted path. keep adding connected edges to minimum spanning tree based on minimum weight so for example but if i see here a is connected with the b with the weight 7 and similarly a is connected with the d with the weight 
so we have to choose the minimum possible weight that a is connected so a is connected with, with the b with 7 and with the d with 5 so 5 is minimum so we choose this path so a is connected with the d with the weight of 5 we choose this path so now we have two vertices out of these two vertices now we consider the minimum possible path based on the weight so if i check a a is connected with the b with 7 weight and with the d that is already selected so here we consider a is connected with the b with the 7 path and we also check the d connected path as well so d is connected with the b with the 9 with e with 15 and with f with 6 so here out of 7 9 15 and 6 the 6 is minimum so here we choose this path that is d to f and the path is weight is 6 now we consider these three vertices so if i talk about the a 5 is already selected and the other path that is a to b that is 7 if i talk about the d d is connected c is, uh, 6 is selected so now two path is left that is 9 and 15 f is connected with the e with the weight of 8 and with the g with the weight of 11 okay as this one is already selected so out of 11 8 7 9 15 the 7 is minimum so we choose this path that is A to B. The next path is A to B and the width weight of 7. Now we consider these four vertices. Okay. The one point that is most important point. Okay. For example, here if I talk about the B vertice, B is connected with the C with 8 weight, with the E with 7 weight, and with the D with 9 weight. Okay. So if I consider this edge as here you know you will see that this cycle will be formed so here i cannot consider this uh, edge as the cycle will form okay so here b is connected with the c with 8 and with the e with 7 okay if i talk about the f f is connected with the e 8 11 okay so if i and this is already selected if i talk about the d d is 9 we cannot consider it as the loop uh, circle will find 15 and see so out of these the minimum possible weight is b to e that is 7 so here the minimum weight is b to e that weight is 7 so now we have five vertices and out of five vertices we uh, we repeat the same process if i talk about the e from e to e is connected with the c okay and the weight is 5 E is connected with G with the weight of 9 with 7 and 15 okay and if we talk about the F F is connected with E with 8 and 9 with G okay so here the minimum weight is this one that E is connected with C with the 5 so here we construct this one that is 7 and we choose that path E to C with the 5 weight now we have 6 vertices C is connected with the B but we cannot consider this one as loop will cycle uh, cycle perform and the property of spanning tree is that no cycle will be formed so now to consider these six vertices we choose the minimum possible path and the minimum possible path is between if we talk about the e e to g the weight is 9 and if we talk about the f f to g the weight is 11 so out of 11 and 9 the minimum possible uh, weight is g from e to g okay so you have to check or consider all these vert all these vertices and you find the the minimum possible path from e to g we select the path that is 9 spanning tree is constructed to check whether the spanning tree is correct or not as we talked earlier in spanning tree the number of edges is one time less than the number of vertices and the number of vertices 
are equal to its the original graph okay so here the number of vertices are seven so here the in spanning tree if we calculate the number of vertices that is one two three four five six seven the number of vertices are equal to this original graph good and now we have to consider the number of edges as I talked earlier, the number of edges are one time less than the number of vertices. As the number of vertices are 7, so the edges should be 7 minus 1 that is equal to 6. So here the number of edges are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is equal to 6. Correct. So now we have to calculate the total cost of the this spanning tree. The total cost will be the submission of all its weighted that is 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 5 plus 9 39 so the total cost of this spanning tree by using prims algorithm is 39 so that's all thanks for watching if you have any questions regarding to this topic, you can comment me inside inside the video comment section or you can email me and email is mentioned in video description. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos. Stay blessed and happy.